bit. This is a continuation of our last video. In the last video, we took a bike apart. And on this video, I'm going to reassemble it. This video will be on my YouTube and his. Because we're both co-working co on it. So, let's begin. Okay, first thing I'm going to put on is the fork. Here, hold that. Okay. Bolts are already loose, so you just unscrew it with... And washers. Then you got these two washers. They go. You gotta make sure this one's like this. If it's like this, it will act weird. Then you just put it in here. Then the bike can only put the one on top. Make sure it's good placing down. There was more. And then uh, where did I put that? Where did I put that one? Put it underneath you. So right underneath you. There you go. Here it is. And you just uh. Hey. Now some could, like, if you really take them off, some could be very rusted. So, if you do that, I would suggest you use this tool right here. It's adjustable, so the vice grips will not work. Now, some bikes, the, the forks, the neck is a little longer, so you may have to put a few washes on there. Just to even the space out. Got a few washes here just to even the space out between the two. Make sure you put that last one down. There you go. I suggest you know even it out. Just so, you, just so you have a little space. A nice and you put your reflector on. And you just you tighten it. And you just take the ball. Get a little tight. So this is tight and there you go. Now, the handlebars are going on. There they are. They just slip right in. And just uh, slip right in. May have to loosen up a little bit more. Then you just slip right in. Then you just tighten it. You can straighten them out once you, uh, you try to get them all straight, but you can mostly just uh, straighten them out when you're done. Just so it's together. Here, yeah, you Put the, put the seat on Thomas. He just uh, tighten it. Now, sometimes your seat won't look like that. Just straighten it out. Get the minor steps set in. Make it look presentable. There you go. Thank you. Now, some of these bolts can be very rusted. Yeah, let me get the vice grips on the other side so it doesn't move. Yeah. So you have to probably use like two tools to do this. Especially with these uh, these older bikes or these cheaper bikes, frames. Like this is a Magnavox. Not all Magnavox are cheap, but some of them are very, very cheap, especially the older ones. What I like to do is rip the pieces off and put more expensive parts on to make it custom or for your choosing. Okay, pass me the prank. Here you go. There's now, only one bag to it. I know, I have the other one right there. Okay. Okay, now... If you look right here on this pedal, I believe this is the left one. So you just uh, here's the right one. So you just measure. The crank always goes on the left. So you just uh, just pop it in there real quick. If you do put it on the right, you will not ride very firm. It will. will. You will not ride at all, especially if you got a built-in back brake tire. Or, yeah, get the washer. You will probably bust your ass. You won't move. And if you got a free spin, you'll just spin all you want. And you, and you won't go nowhere. Tried it, did it. But sometimes it won't work. Is that the right part? Yes, it is. Just screw it in. Which, that one may not fit. Now with some of these arms, they do have smaller arms or bigger arms. This like, is a, I believe a one piece, maybe two piece crank. It is a one piece. One piece crank. They make one piece, two piece, and three piece. I have a three piece on my Harrow. I have a three piece on my GT, which I will show you in a la later video that I built from scratch. Got the frame off Craigslist, and then just saved up and got parts. Now just tighten that. And my Harrow is like customized a little bit. I did buy the frame, but I did put a blue chain on. Alright, grab that plastic down with the strap. Just tighten that up. I did cut the handlebars too. And if you do cut handlebars, that's good for speed. Cut the seat bolt. You lose weight. Just uh, make sure you, the bike you uh, 
cut the seat pole has brakes because I've ridden bikes that didn't have brakes and I kind of messed up got a scar got a scar in here you can probably barely see if you can see it right there it's very dim but you know that's besides the point now let's do this you can use a hammer uh screwdriver last screw screwdriver and a hammer yeah make sure you got a good point though because if not it will slip and you will hurt yourself no i got it that should be good. Okay. Now you can't make that piece too tight or it will be riding very rough. Okay, you put the washer on there and then you put the bolts. Now, in the previous video I showed you what tools you need, but I, that was before I knew this bike didn't have a master link. So now we got a seat clamp because I'm going <laughs> to just clamp the, the chain in. It's, I'm gonna do it very quick, but if you want to know how to do it, just send me a a comment, and I'll I'll do it very slowly. You have the pedal. The pedal is right here. So I'll just throw that on there real quick. It's getting done. Better. Oh, somebody's got a call. Yes. Which um I'll be right back. You can take over that. Be right back. Hopefully they'll come back before the video is over. Yeah, I'll come right back. Okay. So, now we got that on. Now, here's the chain. This chain didn't have a mastering, so I had to pop it off. As you can see, I used a screwdriver and a hammer. Now this one, if you don't know what you're doing, it's very hard. If you have a comment about how to do it, they have a tool for this, but I didn't have the money. The I keep up. When you buy from Walmart, they just get crappy, they always break in. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. Do this real quick and uh, show you how to do it. Just put that right there. Okay, I got it. I am back. Just have to take care of something. Hey dude, I think the camera's up there and I don't think you're in it, so just have a seat. Okay, I'll just pop a seat in here. Now this is much easier with a master link. Way easier. Oh, they have the tool, I forget what it's called, but it's very simple. But I, you could buy, buy it at Walmart, the chain tool, but to be honest, I bought it like, I say about maybe 10 times in it. They work good, but after a while they break. They're, they're like mad expensive. The best bet is to do is buy it from a bike shop, your local bike shop. They're probably like maybe 10, 20 bucks. Yeah, you could buy a new chain. Uh, they sell a better version of the one that Walmart has, but I don't know how, I think it's very expensive. So I'm just going to clamp this on in. Hopefully it'll go. Sometimes they could be a pain in the butt. But We're not riding it tonight since it's pretty wet outside. Yeah, it just got done raining. And we have no brakes and I don't feel like... And later on videos, we're going to be running a brake cord to this bike. And then uh, we'll be doing trips on it. Show you how to do running brake wires. I believe I will put my bulk of pegs on here. And if you'd like to see another peg stand, I'll do that. Yeah, that was in a different video, dude. This is uh, building the bike, so uh, just stick to the top. And yeah, just screw, screw that in tight. Okay, okay what you want to do now is... Now sometimes these things get very rusted, so you're going to have to put a little WD-40 or oil. Back to that C-clamp. But a vice, if you have a vice built on a bench, that is so much better because you just clamp the chain in it and it's done. A C-clamp ain't bad if you don't have a vice, but... I think we're going the wrong way with this. Once I put the bikes on it and then clamp it, then I'll just throw the... I'll have super time with more of the front tire on and I'll throw the back tire on. Just Change the rims. Once I get the bikes on it, then I'll throw the back tire on it. Hopefully the... So this is the chain from the other bike, so it might be too long. So I should measure it before I throw it on it. Oh, here you go. 